Uh, Number of yeah, turns. Two. Okay. Well, let's see uh, Matt just declare war on his opponent. I'm trying to remember which one this is. This is after I've changed my deck. Oh, sorry. My uh, dog has picked a fight with the neighbor. I'll get, just close my door real quick. Yeah, no worries. You can just leave it on play and I'll talk through. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. I just literally had to go close that door so that you, oh, okay. you wouldn't hear him. Uh, so, uh, yeah. I can't tell which version of the deck you're on. Your opponent is... This is version one. I think the similar one that you okay. used. Uh, Weather Eltic. <laughs> That'd be original. So, my hand has no interaction, so I just pretty much... My game plan is to combo through whatever they do. And they're on Tri Brigade. Um, Tri Brigade Zodiac, which is a good deck. I like to see the Tri Brigade Zodiac deck uh, because it's not as oppressive. Like, it's just, it just doesn't end up being as oppressive. It, it's just the Tri Brigade combo featuring normal summon Dryden. Yeah. This is good. It, it'll do the job most of the time. It's just. Uh, doesn't stop me playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And when I'm allowed to play Yu-Gi-Oh! I... Disgusting. <laughs> yeah, like Lisa, Lisa. Double Dragon Lords, Revolt. That's the board I'm used to seeing from the Tri Brigade deck. Like, just like those three cards. Yeah, and so this one this actually I card. remember now. So this opponent actually knows what my deck is doing. And the top deck is just extraordinary. Uh, Lightning Storm. This is why we're playing three Lightning Storms. We're always going to It's... Good in a lot of matchups, especially against any deck trying to do links. We Ooh. take out the Appaloosa and that. The Imperm, um, that's an extra interrupt. That makes the same. Like, I looked at the sand and I was like, yeah, whatever. And then I like I saw the Lightning Storm and I was like, okay, yeah, take out the two monsters and then you've just got to play through a Revolt. This complicates things. Yeah, uh, and I... Remember this Impermanence, because this is something I want you guys at home. Oh, don't to... tell me. To keep in mind when you're when you're playing through these games, uh, and to not not but get too sucked into what smart? you're doing. Not quite. Yeah. Okay. He could have. I'm pretty sure. Sure, I can just banish this off the board, and then like you died, right? Uh, it puts me in a very bad situation. I can still make um, with the FA uh, fighting and the no, I can't. I met you for green. The opponent doesn't kill. Should have killed my field spell a bit earlier. But I, I, I don't know if sure I could have So I think there. I could have still got a scuffed access code kill. Yeah, Black Bell Sam. Like, I'm going to let you down. Yeah, so this is where uh, Splash Mage is obviously looks very threatening. I think, oh, is this the one where my opponent doesn't go after the field spell? And that's kind of what I want to talk about. I'm trying to remember, because I play against a few, and they seem to have adjusted where they try and snipe my field spell. Yeah, it's a non-targeting banish. It literally could have just yeah. taken the field spell away from you. Yeah, I can't remember if this opponent does or not. I mean, if he let you get this far in the combo, he should have gone after Update Jammer, but... Yeah. Yeah. Try to get nonsense. Yeah, get this follow-up for next turn. And just takes away your thing. Okay, so you're just... It's free real yep. estate for the rest of the turn. Oh, no! Should be. No! <laughs> Should be. Should be until I did that. That was a mistake. Oh, dear. Okay, well, you still have special summon Gachiri. Search your deck for the color you haven't specialed yet. Which, fortunately, happens to be yellow. But, yeah, like, this is me just... Got completely stupid and just almost punted the game. And I had to do some gymnastics to get over the fact... That I was being, that I misplaced so hard there. Smash I know, I know. Yeah, bring the guy back. Special summon Kachiri. Monster reborn something to make update jammer. I mean, you don't even need the Kachiri because you know that this card is a Karis. Yeah, it's. Hey, yeah, look. I just practice. I like. Remember when you banished Splash Mage? Bet you that feels bad now. Yeah, the update jammer is a is a vulnerable part of this combo. I mean, it's also how uh, you Nibiru them. Uh, when you do the first combo, uh, and like you start banishing your guys, you banish uh, Infant or Wicked if Infant resolved, uh, and then you banish Splash Mage, and then the third banish has to actually be Update Jammer, so you wait for them to banish the Update Jammer with the first access code, and then you nib them and go like, hey, my turn. <laughs> Even if they go into transcode for like uh, well, a second. That's what the Kachiri's for, right? The Kachiri yeah. stops the Nibiru actually doing anything. But uh, in, in your typical 
Adagnister combo where like the pl the playthrough Nibiru is to make the forty three hundred double attacking one and then blow up their board so they have to nib you there and then you yeah. use the token and make the second one and blow up their board and kill them anyway. If you wait for them to banish the update jammer to pop something and then nib them, even if they try and go into a transcode, their update jammer's gone. So they have to use it on a scuffed access code, as you call it, that can only attack one time and it's not game anymore. 